Hello, and welcome back everyone to DAC. This isn't a um, Northern Dinner campaign, as you could probably guess from the title. Because... I don't know. Today, I've tried to record twice. I've spent over an hour trying to record. But it it's not... Nothing's working. I'm constantly been making big mistakes in my in the actual campaign we lost Venas Druinin we're about 30,000 in debt we are literally negative 30,000 in our coffers right now and we have only three regions left the campaign is looking very bad and I just honestly don't have the energy to continue it so as much as I hate to say this, when the video, second this video, um, for those of you that are seeing this video now, there should be some more DAC videos coming out in the future. About three more. But this, this, this video is the official end to the campaign. We got 13 parts in, but I just, I've lost the the um, enjoyment of the campaign because we never managed to, we, we lost t um, Forest of Ryan to Breland Breland is suffering ma massive casualties the dwarves of Ered Lewin have taken all the land to the north so we can't move out from Anuminas so all that army that I built in Anuminas to defend against Angmar invasions is useless and the Northern Dunedain kind of feel that now like a dead campaign they really really feel like a dead campaign i'm gonna say it they, they are not the same faction i used to play back in the day they are not the same and i will be taking a break from dac because it has been draining me physically and mentally and emotionally i am seriously i am halfway through, on the verge of tears because of how poorly I have been recording those last two videos, part 12 and part 13, which I will not be bringing out. Part 11, I was had good, decent energy. It was a good day. It wasn't as warm as it is right now. It is 29 degrees outside. I'm struggling to even keep my throat from just fading. Because of how sore my throat is. And oh, I am I'm honestly not feeling well. And I know I should just say to myself, just forget about those parts. Just go back to when you were at part eleven, where everything was all nice and happy and bubbly, and just continue from there. But it's, it won't get better. The Norma Duna Dane campaign has come to an end. I'm sorry for all of you that got your hopes up. I got your hopes up. I feel horrible right now that I I'm ending the campaign now, but it's it's not going anywhere. What we decided to do was a very risky play where I gave all of the land um south of Imladris to Imladris so they could defend us against the Orcs in the Misty Mountains. And then we took Kazadoom, we gave that to the, the dwarves of Kazadoom. But then. Um, then we lost Venas Druin in. The dwarves, the dwarves showed up, took Barketa, took Baridonia Rack. So Anuminas was a region surrounded by allies. It was a pointless endeavor. We, ha we didn't have Fornost. We couldn't move out from our two main regions. And Dunlin was about to attack us. And if they did, Imlodris would have sided with them. And it would have been a pincer battle. We would have we would have never taken any land. We would have been against four enemies. Breland would likely have gone to war with us as well. Because if they were allied to Imlodris, if they attacked us. It was just going nowhere. And I just wanted to, to end it here. And not keep carrying on a dead campaign. So... I'm going to be, um, so Dak will be taking a long break 
The reason I'm on this loading screen is because I couldn't think of anywhere else better to record uh, to record on. I didn't want us to have a black screen showing nothing. I wanted to have something for you guys to look at, so you can at least um, so you can at least hear me a bit and not just get bored because it's a pure black screen. But when we do come back to the DAC, we will be playing as the RR9. I've made my mind up. This is the faction I wanted to play as after the Dwarves campaign went went kaput because of all the stuff that happened back then with OBS messing up, DAC not responding to OBS, um, or, uh, visuals not showing up. Um, oh, I kept forgot forgetting to record my mic, etc, etc. So we will be playing as the RR Denime. I won't be making any poll for it. I'm going to make a lot of people mad with my decision. But it is for the best. It's for the best. Not for the channel. But best for me. Because I really, really, really need a break from Total War in general. I've just been grinding myself down into the dirt. Trying to think of a strategy with the Norman Dunedain. And it was never going anywhere. I know I, I rev up the campaign saying we're going to do all of this. We're going to fight Mordor with everyone together. But that was thinking very, very, very idealistically. And I am so sorry that I bought, built all your hopes up just to sm squash it all. But, um, but and this is the good part. Because I'm taking a break from DAC, other campaigns and other games can come back more regularly to the channel. I'm planning to make campaigns, well, go through the, the campaigns for Balfour of Middle-earth 1, Balfour of Middle-earth 2, and The Rise of the Witch King. I plan to continue playing Mountain Blade Warband, but instead of playing it the way we were now, I'm going to be doing it without a mic, with captions... Because I feel like it'd be better if you guys just saw me play the game. Because I think it's the kind of game you can't really play, you can't really talk over. And it's better you just play the game. In my honest opinion. I think it is just better you play the game. Obviously there's going to be some parts where I'm going to be like, oh this is amazing. But I just want to make sure I can actually record those videos as well. Because obviously my recording schedule has been all over the place and i'm just wanting to get all of this out now because i know i've said it here and there on other videos but this is me saying it on one video where it is literally the only topic for the video and also we're bringing back lord of the rings war in the north from the very beginning of the channel which very very few of you have seen but i want to I don't expect it to have get a lot of love or attention, but if it does, I will be so so happy because it is one of my favourite games. It's probably still going to run as poorly as it did in the last time I did it a year ago, but I will do my best by all of you. And then also another game I'm bringing back: Total War Warhammer Two. I know I said I was going to take a break from Total War. I am. That is the plan. But if you guys want to see some Total War other than DAC, I do have Total War Warhammer and Warhammer 2 that I can play instead. It's just a way that I can play Total War and not keep getting dragged into this game. Because although this game is amazing, if you just keep playing it repetitively, it doesn't get it is not fun anymore. It really isn't. And that's how I really felt when I started this campaign as a Northern Dunedain. We were just playing. I was playing a campaign I loved. And I played over and over and over again. And we were trying something similar to that. But I needed to keep it interesting. I needed to keep it so that you guys could see at least a battle every video. And it was getting harder and harder to do it. We were constantly losing ground. We were constantly giving up ground. And we were getting nowhere. So, yes, that is what's going on in the future. Balfour Middle Earth, 
campaigns coming out about mid-August, I might take a break from YouTube again because I will. Tr I'm. I might, if I feel better in through the week, if the weather dims down a bit, I might try recording again. But the weather the way it is now, the way it's getting over 30 degrees in Britain, I can't record. I'm constantly thinking. Is my computer going to blow up if I play a very like high resolution game? Or if I try to play Battle Middle Earth, if something goes wrong, how am I going to be able to come back from that? Because I don't, I don't want to risk my computer's um, well-being because I don't want to keep spending money on my computer if I can avoid it. I don't think that made sense. But let me try and alleviate. I don't want my computer to blow up. So yes, yes. So BFME campaigns will be the first things I bring back to the channel. Um, I think at the time of this recording, part eight would have been coming out on the 24th of July. This video will be taking its place on the 24th of July. And the rest of the Northern Indian campaign will still come out because I still think those videos were really good. I'm sorry that the campaign is ending like this, but I want to I, I want to see if you guys will still enjoy the campaign, even though you know even if you guys know it has already come to an end. Just so I have enough time to fully gather myself. Once the weather's d um, dulled down a bit, if it do if it doesn't, if the weather stays like this, it's super warm. I can barely record. Then I will try my best to record some BFME campaign, etc, etc. But again, um, Dak is on a pause now. I'm pausing Dak. I'm, not, I'm likely going to be playing it before the next patch update. That is still likely to happen. But I do need a break from it. I'm likely going to start playing again. About mid-August. So about a month of no DAC. And I want to keep by that. Because I really need the break. From Total War. On, on YouTube. Because it is getting so. So frustrating. I just want to go back to games. Not that I are uh, easy to play. But games that I. Know have a good. Following in this channel. That I don't need to be so stressed in playing and I can relax more because I got so so stressed out on those last two recordings you wouldn't believe me if I if I said I was close to rage quitting the campaign anyway but anyway I've spoken enough I think I've got my point across Dak's coming to a Dak is getting paused for a month BFME campaigns are coming back one of the North's coming back. Total Warhammer could be coming back. A lot of a lot of things. We're going to be diversifying the channel up again. We're going to be making different videos. Through different games. Try and bring back some more diversity into everything. Because I, I mean. For the last month. All you guys have seen of me playing DAC. And that can get very very boring. I'm sure you can imagine. Just watching one game. Over and over and over again. From one person who is known. For lots of Lord of the Rings based games. But what I want to do. If you guys will want, if you guys do want to see. A Total Warhammer 2 campaign. I'm going to play as a faction. And I'm going to make. Everything Lord of the Rings themed. As much as possible. Okay. I've spoken enough. I've already said that. You guys know that. If you guys if you guys have come this far in the in the video and have still watched, I would like to say thank you for listening to me. Thank you for listening to me ramble on because I am I really needed someone I just needed someone just needed to talk and know that someone is listening. Because I it really is hard to find someone that you know you can talk to and they actually understand instead of saying yeah, yeah. Yeah, you need, you need to know that you. I need to know that you guys understand where I'm coming from because, oh, I am 
trying my hardest to keep this channel going. But it is getting so, so, so hard. And I've, content, I've actually said to myself many times, just, just stop. You should just stop and rethink YouTube. Because you're not, you're hardly getting anywhere. But I want to. I want to see this channel. I want to see this channel get somewhere. I really do. I want to see this channel not become a big channel. Like all the big YouTubers you see at the very top stages everywhere. I just want to be a channel that people can watch and enjoy the content. And I think the best way for me to do enjoyable content is to know when I can, when I'm defeated. And this is the first time I have truly been defeated by Dak ever. This is the first time I've ever been, ever been defeated by Dak. And I'm glad it's happened because it's a learning experience. Anyway, third time's a charm. I've spoken enough. I hope you guys are excited about the new changes. Again, I'm sorry that I've had to end the Norman Dunedin campaign. But I hope you guys will enjoy what few videos I will still be bringing out. And I will see you all in Battle for Middle Earth again. But until then, ta-ta for now.